know, we just gonna get right the fuck into it. Yes, sir. I'm what you filming there. over there? Let me shout them out. What's that? What's that? Inferno about? Productions. Right on. Inferno Productions. Inferno. Productions. She's hot. <laughs> Fucking faggots. You know what I'm saying? Inferno, <laughs> man. Flames. You know what I'm saying? What's that? The real flames. The real oh flames. man, the real flames. Oh man. <laughs> oh shit. Oh boy. <laughs> oh shit. We, we, we ain't even got. That's we gonna say that for last. You know what I'm saying? So, um, first and foremost, you know what I'm saying? Cicero, introduce yourself, tell the people who you are, and you know. Yeah, you know, man, I'm Cicero the Virus in the city. I'm legendary. Twenty DJs, legendary in my city. Anybody tell you different, they lying to you. You feel what I'm saying? Two on five, stand up, and um, we we be taking it, we taking it other places, man. You know what I'm saying? You just did New York Saturday night. Shout out to Brooklyn. Shout out, shout out, shout out to Brooklyn. Brooklyn fan. What part of Brooklyn I be in? Cause I be in the hood. I be in Brooklyn, Herkimer. Doom Bar. Doom yeah. Bar. We, we, we was downtown. We was downtown. Uh, oh, y'all in the Doom Bar? Yeah. No okay. Shit, that, um, yeah, y'all was in um, um, Flatbush and all of that. Yeah. Okay. And we did Sin City too. Nice. nice. So City. you moving. So what's been going on, bro? Uh, man, you know, I got uh, Flight Mileage 1. That was out. You know, and, um, I got Flight Mileage 2 on the way. You know, it was... Uh, it's a little step above the the, the the normal the normal music. The normal music. You know right. what I'm saying? So it's like uh showing these cats what a you know, a, a focus artist from the city sound like with these flight monitors, you know what I'm saying? It's just, it's all one big metaphor. Yeah, because I was gonna ask you like what's what's the whole really meaning behind the whole flight mileage thing? Yeah. Shout out to the homie Greg Nitty. 100 point through the beat, you know what I mean? Yes, building. What's up, boy? Boy, you better start playing this nigga records. Yeah, bro. man. I don't know what's going on in the city, man. I'm gonna have to wake these guys up, man. Yeah, crazy out there. Yeah. All right. So, uh, like, like, let's get right into like from the beginning because, like, I tell you my history. Like, um, I guess I first really, really came upon you from um, the whole Black Wall Street thing. Yeah, we gang. So first, I used to fuck with them niggas over there, and my man was Heat. One of the artists that was right, supposed to be Jersey. right, the nigga from Atlantic City. That's my man. Mm -hmm. So I guess it, it happened around the same time Fifty started beefing with Game, and then that's when you came in. Yeah, I came. I came in slightly before that. Like slightly before that, yeah, right? Yeah. All right. So start from there. And tell me Gee, what your career has been like since then. This has just been um success. This but how did you meet Game though? Like how did the whole situation for Game to even want to know who Cicero is? Oh yeah, well, um, you know, Game and Snoop uh, had the uh, West Was One tour. You know, they, they, they came down to the city and um, they was performing down in Wachovia. And um, shout out to my old management back when I was, you know, a young teen, smashing everybody with the battles and all that. And um, we snuck backstage, actually. And the, 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 the nigga Game let us in the uh, dress room and um, I was spitting on the camera, you know, his cameraman's camera in the hallway, right. and he overheard it outside. He was like, who's that? Right. And he was like, yeah, some, some dude named Cicero from Philly. He snuck backstage, right. saying he got a million bars for whoever. Right. And the gang was like, oh, really? You hungry like that? Time to come in. Right. So when I got in there, Gang was like, all right, now you here, homie. I heard you in the, in the, in the, on the hallway. It ain't sound that hot through the walls for me here right now. Yeah, I yeah. said, oh yeah, so I started going. Right. Went, in, went in for the for the, for the nigga like a like a whole hour street. This nigga was by by the second verse, and nigga was going cuckoo, he running around the, the locker room. He like, yo, this nigga crazy with these lyrics. So he running around, he snatching everybody chains off their necks. He like, yo, he throw. Grab like seven chains, put them all on me. Like, yeah, look at the camera that you spitting on. It's my camera. Tell the camera that you Black Wall Street now. This your new home. You know what I'm saying? And then it was like, so it was after, after that, we was on tour. We was, was out. I ain't died. That was the last time I seen my city for a couple months that night. He was like, we out. We out. I ain't had no bags packed. I had money in my pocket straight from the block. I had nothing else with me. So, so what, what part of Philly are you from? I mean, because I don't know that, so I, you know what I mean? I might want to know that. Just oh, yeah, yeah. Well, definitely shout out to MP. I'm from North. You know what I'm saying? Johnson Holmes, uh, LA Gunplay. That's what we used to call it. We was young. Okay. Lehigh Avenue, all up and down Lehigh, though. Like, it's like love for me in that whole neighborhood. So, shout out to everybody. I mean, I'm a Jersey nigga. I used, to, I used to just come out there to cop weed. 
But you know, <laughs> it is what it is, you know what I'm saying? But you know, other than that, that's the that's the most I used to know about Philly back then. So um yeah. alright, so 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 then you you you, you run it with game, it, the tours is crazy. The tours is crazy, it's bananas. Now what? Now it's it's like then I was presented with an opportunity to do something big and the name off of that stuck with people. Right. So I'm building off of that. You know what I mean? Oh man, we got eye candy in the building. Eye uh, candy, pretty eyes. Uh, 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 they over oh, yeah. Y'all seen us like snap the yeah. She got the pretty eyes. She got pretty eyes too, man. <laughs> Might need her the next video or something. All right, let's talk about that, right? <laughs> so, um, go ahead, finish, 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 finish that. Finish that. What, what was that? What was that? Um, Damn, she eye candy got us all fucked up, bro. <laughs> Yo, man, don't be bringing the girls back in here, Bob, man. Where we from and where we at? We said north, where we be at down Lehigh. We uptown right now. Oh, yeah, no, no, it was what he was saying. He was saying, uh, but, but from there. And I was telling, you know, the people, the, the, the name and the work that I put in with game, the work that I put in with game, you know, the name stuck with people. And that's what's here, right, right? So, that's what, that's what, that was the last word. So it stuck with people. And then next, next, what was the situation like, all right, you you, you you put out projects with them though, right? Yeah, put out a couple of mixtapes and yeah. shit, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, no, no, trust me, that it was a buzzer. Yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. You know what I'm saying? Like, it, it was real heavy, so, and then I guess that's when Swag It Out came? Swag It Out came down the line when I came back from from, from Cali. And okay. then Swag It Out, you know. What was the experience hit that rocking day. with Game? The experience rocking with, with Game was. It was crazy because I, I, was, I was like, what, every bit of 19 then? You know what I'm saying? So right. I ain't seen none of that. I seen that but way before a lot of people seen anything. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. So I'm, I'm running around. I'm still a team. We we everywhere. I'm talking about we, we covered the U.S. Then we left through overseas. You know, I'm performing on stage in Canada with the thing. I'm a teenager. You know what I'm saying? Right. So I'm witnessing things that major artists right. see every day. Then, you know what I mean? Right. So it, it it just built up a hunger, you know what I'm saying? And and it was just crazy. It's like I'm just saying all kinds of crazy things. I'm talking about Club One Twelve, teenager in Club One Twelve, snagging real, snagging real, real nice things. You know what I mean? <laughs> I was doing things, man. We, we, we live. I, I mean, whoever's watching, we don't give a fuck. You know what I'm saying? It's, yeah, it's what? raw and uncut right now. This is raw and cut. What was, what was the groupie love like? I mean, I know what I know. I know the, the groupie, groupie love. love. And I think it's beyond because you're on stage in front of a couple thousand. Yes. And that so many might get behind scenes and be like, that was the nigga on stage. stage. And that's where it happens. And then the movie begins. And then right the movie there. begins. And the movie begins right there. And it was, man. So the homie, ho homies got a lot of smell. Like, they got a lot of love, huh? <laughs> like, like, he, he, as soon as I said it, he just start shaking his head. Yeah, it was, it was going down, man. It was crazy out there. You know Shout out to E-Class. That nigga be everywhere. <laughs> hey, Tony. I bump into that nigga like 40 times, he gave me his number about 20 of the times, <laughs> and then it'd be like, you know, we back again. So now we here, so now we know what it is. Yeah, that So is this is real, Jayami.com, Cicero's in the building. Um, yes, sir. So, uh, so, so next step is, you know, after the game situation, that's when Swag It Out came out? Yeah, Swag, Swag, Swag Out hit the radio, and it, it was a smash on Power 99. It was a smash. No, it was, it was rotation. Yeah, rotation, BDS numbers, right. counts crazy, top 40, you know. And then 103 put it in rotation right. too. So right. it was like I was doing rotation on both stations right. with the same record at the same time. Wow. No help. All from no the help. muscle. All from the muscle. No, no, nobody come going in these offices talking to nobody for me, you know. Right. And... That's how I went down it. I mean, shout out to Cosmic Kev for that. Right. You know what I mean? And That's um what's up. and um is as far as the the, uh, the follow up records, the in the air joint, shout out to Sack the Beat Man. Right. He he produced both my first smashes. Right. You know what I'm saying? On 
radio spent. Right. He, put those, he produced both of them. He hit him with the swagged out joint with me, and then we hit that in the air joint mm-hmm. right after that. And then we hit him with the swag, the swagged out remix. Yeah, the remix. You know I just played it. And it was like, it. people don't, it's like, come on, man. You I was got, you got some thousands players. off of these records. And, and at that time, you you got you you got the you got the major niggas at that time that was coming up and it was the hungriest niggas at that time. Exactly. Cause I fuck with Eight Game and Ready and all of them yes. niggas. But like the niggas is family. Like yes. I brought them niggas out to Jersey one time. Shout out to Uptown. So the whole Uptown shout out to them, man. We go back. We are. So you know what I mean? Like you you had some heavy niggas on the records. Yeah. Like yeah. at that point in time. So after that, what happened? It just seemed to go towards. Uh, politics after that because you know it's like instead of people minding their own business right and not trying to step on the next man's toes and getting angry or upset at the next man right it is just the opposite so it's more of a competitive thing instead of just let me get in where i fit in right. and make it work too you know what i mean it's right. like it becomes a, a somebody has to be the dominant one you know, instead of letting the music play and letting the music speak for itself, for the artist, you know, it was a lot of favoritism going on at the time. And for some reason, my spins, my plays stopped. And these records were huge. They yeah, they, they went into New just, York. That's not, that's why I'm asking because the shit just stopped. It stopped out of like, nowhere. And even today, right. today, I call up. I remember it was when Swagged Out first dropped, I was calling Cosmic on the phone. Yeah. Nigga picked right up. Right. Can't get that no more. And it was after, you know, Homeboy, the uh, beat, he got out of got out of prison. Right. And they, you know, they, they wanted to get him back in the in, into the rotation. And when he got back in, I got moved out. Right. You know, instead of keeping both of us running at the same time. Right. Because my records were dominating even when he had one out. Right. So right. from that right there, it should have been a respect level where, all right, this kid could run. So it should be him running because he can make these joints and, and sis running too because he can make these joints and right. whoever right. else could run and make these joints. So so, run. so with that being said, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to homie Goldfingers in the building, Goldfingers. Sister Goldfingers Rose, in the building. Rose, Goldfingers, you know what I'm saying? We're going to get that popped in a little later. But um, other than like, Staying into that lane of of you saying, you know what I'm saying, like, um, y'all both was rocking at the same time. Yes. It was, it's like, well, what the fuck was going on with, 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 with his, like, pro- promotion that really pushed him over the top to get you out the way? Do you think that's what it was or what it was who he was fucking with? Honestly, I have no idea. Honestly, I don't. Because regardless of who's who or who's what in that city, right. I stand strong by myself and I always have. So it's like I don't. That leads me to the next question. How do you, what's going on with, with the bullshit in Philly with. Too many politics. It's just politics. It's too many. So niggas with the, I fuck with the nigga, I fuck with the nigga, but I really don't fuck with you. Exactly, nigga. shit like that. I fuck with the nigga on camera, like we on camera, I fuck with you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. When we get off camera, yeah. I don't fuck with you. Exactly. Shit like this. Oh shit like this. Oh, I, I I I fuck with the nigga, but I'm not gonna let nobody else know it but him. Right. <laughs> you feel what I'm saying? Right, right. So then it becomes like, all right, well, I guess I would probably be wrong if I get on some bullshit and tell the people what's going on. Right. And then niggas really wanna get mad at you when you air out that they're not keeping it one hundred behind these scenes. And it's wow. like at the end of the day, my dude, you are you know what you want me to do? I gotta let the people know what's going on. I don't want the people out there thinking Cicero is slacking for a minute, cause I'm not. I'm just for some reason having a, a hard time getting through to the city that, you know, regardless of who's who and what's what, I could do this all to the dolo, make things come. Tell me, so with these records and the lyrics and the, 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 the talent, it's, it's, it's a global thing. So how long, how long has Cicero been doing his thing rapping, period? Since I was, uh, you was, you saw that you was battling. I was battling everybody. So-